A statistic that I found staggering is that around the world, over a million plastic bottles are bought every minute. Think about it. Over a million plastic bottles every minute. And where does it all land up? Well, look in your dustbins, in your overflowing landfills, in rivers, even here. And it takes about 450 years for this plastic bottle to degrade completely. Every single day, South Africans throw out mountains of trash, close to 300,000 tons of it to be exact. In 2016, 164,000 tons of this was plastic bottles, and just over half of these found their way to a recycling depot. That's close to 2 billion bottles. Janine Besson from Petco argues that recycling has enormous value to society. I don't think that consumers grasp or fully grasp the concept that recycling equates to job creation. Over 6,000 formal jobs and 62,000 informal jobs have been created through recycling of plastic bottles alone. But recycling is about more than jobs. It's the beginning of a new economic model we need to consider if we want a sustainable future. For far too long, our economy and consumption habit has been that of a straight line. We make stuff, we use stuff, and then we dispose of stuff. But in a circular economy, everything we make stays in the system longer. We recycle everything we can, we remake and reuse again and again, in other words, a closed system. A passionate believer in the circular economy is Shandru Wathani. The biggest challenge we face is ignorance. We sometimes fail to see the bigger picture, that there is a cost associated with disposal. And if we don't factor that in, all that leads to is more pollution in our landfills and more pollution in our oceans. Extra Pet recycles more than 2.5 million bottles a day. What happens to these bottles all depends on what they will be turned into. The more end-use markets we can create, courtesy of technology, the more plastics we can then recycle. The bottles that come from collectors like WasteOne are manually separated into colors. And then they get turned into plastic flakes. Plastic bottle that someone threw away and never thought about again. Now we're going to give it life again. Circular economy. This is where, like a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, an amazing transformation takes place. These plastic flakes are heated to over 285 degrees, poured through filters, then through very fine holes, and out the other side comes a fine plastic fiber. And the idea is you need a minimum number of these so that you can get it into a form that you can form a fiber. So if you have a look inside. This Cape Town factory recycles 312 million bottles a year. The Johannesburg factory gets through 3 million bottles a day. The plastic fibers then go through a chemical treatment, some heating and stretching, and what comes out the other side looks, well, nothing like plastic. So that's been oven treated, it's been set, you have a feel of it. It's incredible how Wow! Texture. This is so soft. This is incredible. I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. This was once a plastic bottle. That's right. And now it's this soft. Now what is this actually used for? Well, a lot of this will end up becoming industrial fabrics. Uh, okay. Stuff like geotextiles. And at its best form, it actually become then hopefully one day a brown t-shirt. This is amazing. Did you know that t-shirts actually evolved from the long johns that men used to wear back in the 19th century? Designers back in the day wanted an undershirt that you could pull over your head that would snap back into shape, but without any buttons. Today, t-shirts are probably one of the most popular garments in the world. I mean, let's face it, who doesn't have at least five t-shirts in their cupboard? But here's something else I bet you didn't know. Each one of these t-shirts are made from the recycled fiber of at least four and a half plastic bottles. Over a decade ago, Woolworth started experimenting with technology to replace virgin polyester, which you find in t-shirts anyway, with recycled plastic fiber. 
The recycled polyester and raw cotton is mixed together according to the kind of fabric needed. It gets spun a few times into a single thread and then knitted together to create this new fabric. And then it's ready for the cutting room. Ravan Naidu is a fabric technologist. Is this it? Yes, this is actually made from recycled plastic. Okay, but now can you actually tell the difference between this fabric and ordinary fabric? Absolutely not, because there isn't any difference. Both recycled and conventional polyesters are both made from the same raw materials, okay? This is made from discarded plastic bottles. Now what happens if I put this in the washing machine, or if I iron this, or is it gonna melt? <laughs> you would be able to take care of this garment the way you would any other garment made from conventional cotton. Is it just t-shirts? So we now have recycled polyester across our outerwear in terms of uh, t-shirts, we have it in jeanswear, we have it in kidswear, we have it in polar fleece. Uh, it's used as full in duets and pillowcases, and we have reusable shopper bags as well. In the last year, over 9 million bottles were recycled into Woolworths product. Ravan says this is just the beginning. Over the next three years, we're looking to ramp this up to 25% of our total polyester buy, which would take us to just under a million cages of plastic. That is phenomenal. I have to give you a high five. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Seeing the thousands of t-shirts being sewn together, it's difficult not to imagine the four and a half bottles it takes to make each one. Every plastic bottle in our mountains of trash was once in somebody's hands. The challenge is to change attitudes. Plastic is clearly not trash. It's a job-creating tool just waiting to begin a new life as something else. All it needs is to be recycled.